I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but I hope you guys are enjoying your time here in the road this place. Welcome to a brand new video where today's presentation I want to talk a little bit about the five pack that I've already reviewed and that you may have seen if in case if you haven't seen it right now. Uh, there will be the link at the end of this video, of course, on the description as well as on the comment section. So you won't miss anything. Talking about this five pack, HW Legends. Now, today's presentation, we are going to check the cars that are featured on this five pack. Now, these cars are 100% real. They're real in real life. So, let's uh, jump back into the laptop thing and... Uh... Okay, let's start. So, we are going to start with the first car, which is obviously... Let me put them over here. With the Eura 2. There you go. A quick sneak peek. Okay. The full review. Yep. You know where to uh, see it. So as you can see, um, personally, there was, I think there was a lot of recolor. No, no, there was not real color. Uh, I don't know the name of the guy. I think it's this one. I don't know the name who, who actually did the uh, creation of this car. It's a beautiful car. Fortunately, it's not a truck car. Yeah, Drifter G didn't uh, respond yet, but I don't think that he's going to see it anyway. <laughs> but uh, once again, I like the details. This is how it looks like in real, li in real life. The surfboards, I feel like uh, maybe they're, they're not real surfboards, are they? I'm not sure. But it looks really good and uh, gorgeous. So there's no like uh, they haven't been like for example there's erasing or something like that. It's just that it was featured on the uh, what do we call it the um, film uh, Axelor Racers and um, Highway 35 was driven by uh, Bert Wheeler and yeah let us go to Loop Coop. Now, Loop Coupe is one of my favorite cars, okay? And this guy over here, let me show it to you. Another quick sneak peek. Here you go. So, oops. Anyways, you have to see the review if you want to actually, you know. Anyways, so, uh, like I was saying, Loop Coupe is my favorite car. And also one of the cars that obtained the world's best... No, the World Guinness record of making the largest loops in 2013, I believe. 2012, 2013, I believe. Well, at that time, the only thing that I know is that at that time, there was wall tracks. <laughs> and, dude, I'm, I'm addicted to the wall tracks, obviously. Anyway, so this is how it looks like. And they have been a lot of recolors, so they just painted over and over again. Like, for example, here and here. There's not much big difference, you know, check out the wheel. The wheels are like the, the same type of wheels. The only difference is with the, uh, what's it called, the, the colors. And that's it. Now, I'm not sure who built these cars for Hot Wheels, obviously. Whether maybe it's a company, maybe like uh, Chevrolet or Dodge. I don't know. For sure, it can be an American car, but... Um, I don't know. Another sneak peek to two jets. Okay, so this car had been uh had won the contest of the Hot Wheels Legends, and this and there was this guy I believe. Wait, yep, this guy I believe. He built it in real life, and since Hot Wheels is making the tours, uh, from you know places to places. So they just like um, give the opportunity to many uh, people who like to customize or build cars, everything. So he won. Yeah, they voted for him and basically he won. I personally don't like the, the, his car, obviously. Um, I, this, this is just a personal opinion, okay? But I'll, probably it's a lot of hard work to build one of these. 
in real life so I'm not criticizing just saying my opinion I don't have much to say because this is like the first time where it was released was uh, I believe in 2020 because I've met this guy back in Morocco so yeah two jets I'm not talking about the person who built it I'm talking about the car because maybe you would say in the comments hey you said you met him in Morocco is that true <laughs> no 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 El Camino this car is the legend of the legends okay so first of all you know that um, the guy who drove this one had an accident because if you're familiar with let me google something uh, twist, double dare. I think it's double dare snare I'm not sure oh yeah yep it's double dare snare this one there you go this one is real okay so we have it in real life and the guy who drove this car um, had actually an accident with it so it's a real thing you know and what he decided to do is to customize his car by adding these two you know long boosters mm, where is he yep there we go yeah this is a better view so we added these type of boosters not boosters but like you know jets i don't know what to call it but you got the idea okay so he built it so that it can go faster and but i don't think that he uh repeats repeats like repeated the, the stunt because otherwise it's gonna be killed okay um and back to the actual stunt you know at the end of the loop um there's this thing that that chumps the car so that uh, the winner kept you know on the the chomping spot while the loser is going out but there wasn't a race okay so when he did the loop he turns out that he the like the brakes he didn't have much brakes so he crashed basically I'm going to link the everything what I just said on uh, the description okay so you won't miss anything yeah but yeah go ahead and see see it by yourself and of course the Camaro so this is a concept car this is not a uh, this is a real car but this is not like the normal Camaro that you would buy and um, this one was on the uh, world best driver contest and it was released on several colors as you can see but this thing used to glow in the dark I don't know if it's color graded but I feel like it's it's real I don't know and yeah we got a couple of uh, you know uh, pictures so yeah pretty much the concept of making a car glowing is the same as you know the HW glow wheels I don't know if you're familiar with the, the five pack or even the Siri this one. Oh wait I have this one Okay, so this is like uh, you put it, you put the wheel on like the light, and then you turn off the light and it's glowing. So pretty much, I think it's the same concept. But I love this car. Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry. I uh, love this car. There you go. Yep. There's no, there's no much. There's not a lot of things to say apart from that going to link uh, what I said earlier about the Camino and also about the Camaro HW test facilities it's a beautiful racing and you're gonna love it there's a lot of crashes and uh, there's a lot of uh, people who are losing and I'm, I won't spoil okay just go ahead and watch and this is it this is it for today's presentation I hope you learned something new about Hot Wheels and uh, Maybe you thought that some of the cars, or the like, especially fantasy cars, are like uh, just fantasy. There's not in real life. But let me tell you that Twin Mill Three and Beach Bomb are actually, well, Beach Bomb is a real car, but they're actually in uh, real life. And uh, Bone Shaker as well is a real car. So yeah, so because these were the first Hot Wheels cars ever made. Very interesting. And maybe, I don't know, one day I'm going maybe to visit there and drive one. Why not? 
So yeah, this is it. You know what to do, you know the deal. Make sure to be part of the road beast place by subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss anything. Come on. And leave a big thumbs up if you learned something new. And uh, so that we can provide more content of this. Yeah, because you help the algorithm. Take care, guys, and peace out. Oh, wait, hold on. Peace out. And thank you for coming on. This is salt, okay? <laughs> this is tables. <laughs> Sorry about that, but anyways.